welcome back to the spider web and in this video we're going to be having an unboxing yes it's unboxing time again and in this video and this unboxing is going to be on oh labyrinth it's finally here so let's get down to the table and see what's inside shall we right so just before we have a look at the inside of the box What's this white piece of paper? Well this is a poster that they sent out on pre-order and it's a picture of the game board which is nice all the different areas are in here as you might be able to see at the top there we have the Fyrie's camp um, that's the um, little crystal ball that uh, Sarah got trapped in <coughs> and, I, and had to dance with David Bowie oh oh what what torture and then you have the wise man here and this is the area where I think she found Ludo because there are the two doors with the two knockers yes all knockers come in purge you should know this by now um, and then, oh, it's all, all nice. We'll have a proper look at the board as it goes on. And just in case you're wondering what the snickering is in behind, around the background, Ali's taking uh, notice of what I'm doing. <laughs> right, so here is the box. Ta -ta -ta! Just getting my knife of opening. So, what do we have? Well, in fact, let's just slice into the box. This knife is not very sharp. To do something about that. <clears throat> so here we go. And there's the back of the box. <clears throat> what do we get? We get uh, five uh, minis of uh, Cherith, the Goblin King, Sura, Hoggle, Ludo, Sididimus, and Ambrosius. Um, rules booklet. It's a two by two game board, 32 labyrinth cards, over 30 game tokens, six polyhedral, six polyhedral dice, the D4s, D6s, D8s, D10s, D12s, and D20s, six reference cards, four character sheets. Four ability cards and four weakness cards, and four card stand-ups of Humongous, Goblin Cavalry, Gob sorry, Goblin Infantry, Goblin Artillery, uh, and also a Goblin Clock and Clock Hand. So that's what we should find in here. Let's open up and see if that's what we do find in here. Here we go. Right. Ooh. Oh, the velvet. Oh, nice velvety. Nice velvety um, box there. Right, and here we have the box with the uh, plastic things for the standees. We have the character cards here. Ooh, that's nice. We have the two bits for the clocky thing. We'll put that together very soon. Um, and we have the dice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two little bits in the dice bag so I don't lose them. We have cards. We have a dog who now wants to play ball. <laughs> we have advertising for Labyrinth, the board game, which is what we bought, so weird. And we have the instruction book. And it's if you if you remember the film, Sarah before she went into the labyrinth was reading that book, and it's that's how it's designed. Yeah. And now we have the punch outy bits. Um, we have the clock. We have the clock hand. We have four with Ludo on it. And is that four with Jarrett's eye? Sorry, not four with Jareth's eye. One, two, three, four. Ten with Jareth's eye. Hmm. 
There we go. And here we have more punchy outy bits. Lots more of Jareth's eye. That's humongous. You may remember him from the uh, gates to the Goblin Town. And then we have the different uh, tiles. There we go. And now the board. So let's open the board and see exactly what it looks like. If I can get Laddie out of the way I'll be able to put things nice and neatly to one side. Okay. It's upside down already. And there we have the board. You're not seeing on the poster you don't see the spaces mapped off, but they're all there. I'm hoping you can see. You have the, what I'll do is I'll zoom in on one part, won't be a second. There you go, so we zoomed in and as you can see the size of the cards. There you go, because curds can be left on there. So uh, that's why they're doing it at that size. And you can see some of the detail on it. It's really nice. That's the, the stone part of the labyrinth. That's the signpost that's showing all the different ways it, you could go. And I don't know whether you can see down at the bottom, left hand corner, that's where Sura meets Hoggle. At the beginning where he's going on killing furries. <laughs> Lovely. But this is not what we want to see. We want to look at a little more detail at the cards and everything else that's involved. So uh, let's get down to the table and do that shall we? Okay so here are all the extra bits and pieces that we didn't get a look at um, properly. In the main opening. Um, here are the dice and the two little black things that uh, fit the clock together. Put those to one side and we'll have a look at the dice. They were actually quite nice in the hand. Not too big, not too small. Mm -hmm. Different colours for different, different strengths of attack or whatever it may be. No, you may not just use the dice for attack, that's what I meant by that. Put those to one side. Let's have a look at the standees. There we go, we get five. Let's pop one of these out. We've got Humongous, these slots in there, and stands up. Very simple. That's the way they work. There you go, not a problem. And then we have the clock. But we'll do that a little bit later, we'll just realise we have the little character sheets. So we start off with Hoggle. Hope you can read that. There's a speed uh, he, for speed he rolls a green dice for wit, he rolls the black, and for brown, or brown, sorry, he rolls the yellow down. His willpower is three, and they're the uh, ones that look like Cherith's eye. There we go, and obviously Hoggle is the red character. Then we have Sididimus with Ambrosius, there's a speed judged by his uh, black die, wit for yellow and brown with the purple die. He has a starting willpower of four, a little quote from the movie there, and as you can see, he's the yellow. And then Ludo has a speed uh, rolled by the yellow die, wit rolled by the green die, and brown rolled by the black die. He has a starting willpower of uh, four, and another little quote from the movie. 
and he is, as you can see, the brown character. And then we have, finally, Sarah. Speed and wit are both purple, and brown is green, and she has a starting willpower of five. And another quote from the movie. All the quotes are what the characters actually came out with. Now let's have a look, a proper look at the um, instruction book. Hoping you can see this without too much of a glow from the light above us. So, we have stills from the movie, folks of the components. It's not what you'd call an incredibly um, in-depth game. It looks quite easy to play. It's your standard basic, it's your basic standard roll and move game when all said and done with a few little bits and pieces added in here and there. And that's that. There we go. And a little bit of a synopsis of what the uh, what the game is about. Now, let us get the clock sorted out. <clears throat> Here we go. So this is what we get for the clock. And you'd get the, the hand of the clock. And there we are. And that is it. That's all that goes into it. It's a little loose. But to worry, it will do the job. There we go. Obviously, with it being labyrinth, that's 13 hours on the clock, not 12. Now it's time for looking at the cards. Now we do have one of those little strips around this card, but as per usual, I can't find out there it is. <laughs> That's why I usually use a knife. Okay, so we have blue, red, brown, yellow cards, and these are the special abilities of each character. Let's uh, lower the camera a little bit so we can have a proper look. Okay, so this is service card. Hoggles card, Ludos card, and Sid the Dimitris card. There we go. That's those. And for the other cards, we have. I'm assuming these are event cards. <coughs> there we go. I'm just going through a few of them, not going through them all. Um, these are different parts of the labyrinth that you've seen in the movie. And then these are the final parts of the car of the uh, the game, uh, where we face Humongous, and the Goblin Infantry, the Goblin Cavalry, the Goblin Artillery, the Goblin King's Maze, and the Spell. Give me back the child. And then we have Sarah's weaknesses. 
So we've already had the special abilities and these are, these are the weaknesses. So we have Sarah's. We have Hoggles. And we have Ludos. And we have Ambrosius. So the strength is Sididimus and the weakness is Ambrosius. Interesting. But then again, saying that, Ambrosius was the cowardly dog, wasn't he? That's uh, the steed of Sididimus. Now, the next part are the minis. This is what we want to see. So I'll just take them out of the box and they'll all be nicely painted eventually. But let's start off with this little fella, Hoggle. There we go. <laughs> I've just realised I've got my camera plugged in, but I've not actually got it swatched, switched on the wall, so I might as well plug it. Um, <laughs> yes, I've done that again. Uh, and then we have Sir Didymus Satastride Ambrosius. And then we'll have Sarah. There we are. Here's Ludo. <laughs> and finally, the Goblin King himself is Jareth. There we go. <laughs> And just for scale, let's pop them all down. They are very, very, very different in sizes, as you can understand. But uh, Jareth and Hoggle seem to be a very similar size, as does um, Sura. There don't seem to be much difference in size to, um, sorry, not Hoggle, Ludo. So, I would have expected Ludo to be a little bigger than that, but still, it's a gaming piece, so you can't expect true scale. If you did get true scale, it probably look silly. Um, but uh, I do like um, I do like these minis. Look really nice. Really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to Ali sitting there painting them. And you should see them up on her face now when I said that. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've waited patiently for this game since I pre-ordered it earlier in the year. And uh, I am really now looking forward to playing. So, uh, hey, I best get a move on and get them painted, haven't I? I say that for a lot of things at the moment. <laughs> ah, well. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.